The first step toward remediating these larger scale abandoned sites is containment. Through a process that has become a standard procedure, the contaminated area is completely sealed off from the environment. This is done by building barriers as necessary using studded frames and reinforced polyethylene sheeting. The area is then put under negative pressure, a mild vacuum, to prevent fibers from escaping through doorways or through tears in the sheeting material. The work crews wear full face respirators and must shower after each exit from the containment zone. To minimize the movement of asbestos fibers, all surfaces are wetted down prior to being cleaned with a high-efficiency particulate air vacuum. In some cases, depending on the nature of the contamination, the surfaces are scraped, scrubbed, and rinsed both before and after being vacuumed. All the ACM collected from the cleanup effort is placed in specially marked bags or is carefully wrapped in plastic sheeting and then shipped off-site for disposal in a properly licensed waste facility. Following a final wash, a sealant material is applied to all available surfaces. This step effectively seals in any fibers remaining after removal. Large cleaned pieces of metal, masonry and other useful material are salvaged for reuse. In some cases, the buildings that remain following an asbestos abatement effort can be reoccupied without fear of a health risk. Otherwise, the buildings are demolished the rubble safely disposed of, and the property restored to allow for new development. 